Recently I was playing a new Digimon game for Switch and it got me thinking about the first Digimon World released for the PlayStation 1. It was a really great game. I remember I played a lot at the time, but it was kinda difficult for me, especially because I was all the time evolving to Namemo or Sukamon. And I remember there are some parts that we need some specific Digimons to proceed on the story. And it got me thinking that with that flaws, I could make a better version of it. I could improve it. It would be easier, more monsters, evolutions would be more consistent and no frustration about getting no memo Sukamo all the time. So this was my initial point. Try to do a copy and, and start modifying it. And hopefully by the end of it, I would have a game that's only based on Digimon. But actually quite a, quite a different one. So I, I'm not good with art or music and 3D would be out of the table as of now, I wanna learn it, but I don't think it's the time for it, for it. So I'll do my version using 2D pixel art, I'll try to do, I'll do it in a low resolution, it's gonna be easy to draw, and if I do it correctly, it's not gonna look ugly. I like a low resolution games like Pokemon, or the first Digimon as well, or the ones for the Game Boy Advanced. They're really beautiful in their own way. So I decided to implement it as a tactical game, like in Final Fantasy Statics or Pokemon Conquest. And I, I think just change the bat battle style, it would change the game almost completely. Yes, okay, they are still monsters, they evolve and probably devolve as well. But just changing it, the battles, like you have control over your Digimon, you didn't have uh, previously. And like the tactical games, there wouldn't be so much of a map exploration. You just have the world map and you just choose where you wanna go. So you're not free to move around. You are free to visit the places, but not to explore. And I think that I dislike in the Digimon games is the modes, the techniques. They are very limited and they don't do much besides damage. There is not much of a strategy. In Digimon World DS, sometimes evolving the Digimon is worse because it would get a worse technique. And that's just frustrating because you had a good Digimon and then you evolve it and it gets worse. Maybe better stats, but if you don't have the move, it's gonna suck. So I wanna focus on this part of my version, try to improve the techniques. I didn't think much about it as of now, but it's something that I'm gonna keep in mind. I need to do like... I think Pokemon does this greatly. Pokemon has a really vast pool of moves. And not all of them, all of them are helpful and useful, but I would say we have options when you play it. We have many, many options. They have many good moves. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep this in my mind as long as far as I go with the game. So this is a pretty much of a work in progress by now. I don't have much of an idea. I have the initial idea about the battle and some additional stuff for the Digimon and how the gameplay is gonna be like uh, using equipment on the Digimon on the monster. But that's, um, that's all for now. I had enough to start working on it, and that's what I'm gonna do now, and I'll improve the ideas as I go. I'm starting with a, uh, with a test scene for the battle, because it's gonna be the main aspect of the game, I'd say. And I'm limiting myself to four colors only. Uh, this was inspired by the Pokemon art. And it's, it, uh, it is supposed to be easier. And each tile will be 16 by 16. So my previous game I did 8 by 8. It was good uh, because I don't know pixel art. 
for this vlog I will go to the tile map so I'm not gonna be covering the monsters yet I think it's gonna be maybe next step or maybe some, some time later I don't think it's important now at the big, just the beginning of the development this is just the initial setup uh, I'm gonna create the DWC and this is gonna be the main executable it's gonna be the main file to run the game and I'm gonna create this so the, and I'm gonna create the directory for the source for the code and one for the resources later so all, all the main code besides the WDC is gonna go there so it's more organized and the scene now is 320 by 180 but this is, this is the original resolution what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna zoom it so I think this is a good resolution to work with I just checked now a game that I made recently for a game jam I'm gonna take some code that I put there you can check the game at itch.io also the source for this game is on itch.io as well when you download it so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I have my main screen it's gonna be three times uh, bigger I'm gonna have a three times zoom and I'm gonna create a surface that's gonna be the original resolution and I'm gonna draw everything on this surface and then I'm gonna transform and scale this surface to the actually to the actual window size this is gonna be the interesting part because uh, I'm gonna use the I, I use you now a sprite but you can use any pixel editor or maybe even Photoshop you just need to work with in the pixel level and I'm gonna use that as the level editor really really simple one but you're gonna see it later now it's working okay So now I'm gonna use the AC sprite as the tile editor, as the a level editor. I just use the colors as the tiles. So that, that's why I say it's really simple one, a really basic one. I'm gonna put the RGB, I'm gonna use RGB and the white color is gonna be for the plain tile. And I'm gonna map the R color, the red one, to the grass one, and then the green one for the water tile. And you're gonna see how how it ends up. I used the same strategy on my last game. I always prefer to use some level editor, even if it's the pixel editor. So I don't have to to write the, the level. I go to the actual array and put all the tiles. This is gonna be grass, this is gonna be plain, this is gonna be water. So I prefer to use the tile editor, I do this and it's faster and I can read it from the uh, from in the program. And it works. So now it's easy to create a level. I mean, easy with three tiles for now. So every time you need to add a tile, you're gonna need to change the code as well. This is not ideal, but for now, this is gonna be good enough. I will post more as I work more on this. 
and that's it.